Okay, for some long-awaited answers to a story we first broke more than eight months ago, a judge recently ordered the city to publicly release the final report on the investigation into the San Jose Fire Department. That investigation started when we showed you video that showed a bikini-clad woman stepping out of a fire truck and then walking right into a strip club. NBC Bears Damien Trujillo broke that story. Tonight he has the answers that the department had been refusing up to now to give us. The investigative report names names for the first time, but it also answers a key question. It also raises a lot of questions about the integrity of the firefighters involved and why the city doled out so little punishment. This is the viral cell phone video that had everyone asking what's going on at the San Jose Fire Department. But since the video hit the air, answers about what happened have been hard to come by. In the months that followed, our sources helped uncover pieces of the story. For example, firefighters told investigators they were giving the woman, a club employee, a ride around the block after she demanded it. Our investigative unit also learned the fire truck made a second stop at AJ's Bikini Bar a few blocks away before returning. But this redacted report, which a judge ordered the city to release after being sued by the Mercury News, answers a central question. Why were firefighters at the Pink Poodle in the first place? In the report, firefighters claim a fire captain had recruited a photographer who also worked at the Pink Poodle to take pictures of his crew. The firefighters said they had gone to the club to pick up the photos. Today, I asked former mayor Sam Licardo if he thought the whole incident was as bad as he imagined when we first told him about it in October. Well, in some ways, it's worse because not only do you have whatever happened at the Pink Poodle, but now there seems to be some cover-up about whatever was happening afterward. For the first time, the report also identifies a fire captain, William Tognazzi. We know he was demoted to fire engineer. But during our investigation, we also learned that he was the only person disciplined for the ride-along that a bikini-clad woman demanded. A lot of members of the community can't understand how a bikini-clad woman could demand members of the fire department that they take her for a ride. Legal analyst Stephen Clark says the incident could have raised numerous liability concerns for the city. Clark says a life-saving apparatus is not an Uber, and he too was surprised that it took 10 months to get to this point and that the discipline was so minimal. The city got behind this story from day one, and they followed it and took it straight to the gutter instead of acknowledging wrongdoing at the earliest point. And after first looking at the video in October, former Mayor Licardo said that if it was as bad as it looked, then heads must roll. And now that the facts are all out... Did heads roll in this case? No. At City Hall, Damien Trujillo, NBC Bay Area News.